And that brings up what's going to be permanently here while driving. Say if I want my media, it'll display what media is playing. Right. So, and it's the same over here. And if you have turn-by-turn -turn navigation, it's always going to show up on the left-hand side. Now, now, this side controls that side of the screen, and Correct. this side controls that Correct. side of the and screen? Correct. And both are dual function. Like I said, if I don't push, I mean, go ahead and play with it. So if you push and hold, then you can scroll. And they feature different things or the same? You can choose whatever you'd like. And you, can and you just push on it when you, you want have one. the same up set of of, up, of you won't, options. You can't have the same thing on both sides. I mean, you can't have media and media. Right. So you have push the, media and see what happens. See, it uh, just flips oh. from what the other side is. And again, if you don't push and hold it, you know, you just scroll, get a feel for that, just scroll, and then you can scroll through what you want to choose as well, and then you just push it and you have that control then. And then when you push and hold it again, it brings you to the... Okay. okay, and then this side is the volume. Right. For the radio. So and when it, you have the radio on this side, then you have the volume here. No, the volume's always it's here. It's always there. Always there. Okay. They're always there. So you have uh, these apps up top. They're always going to remain the same. And then the basic controls of the car are down here. Okay. Okay. And you can have split screen or full screen. So right now we're at split screen. Okay. And you can, there's two ways you can flip them. And to, uh, let me know if I'm going in too much detail or if you just want a broader picture. So you can tap right here and it flips them top to bottom, bottom to top. Or I can enlarge any of them. They both have a rectangular icon. If I tap that, it becomes full screen. Okay. Okay. And where we use it a lot is on the nav is getting that navigation full screen. That's very nice. Right. Yeah. You know, when yeah, you're driving. A huge map so, and yeah, yeah. And really then this convenient. is this is feather touch just like an iPad. Okay. Okay, so here's your apps. You have media. It's showing us what's playing now. If you want to browse your media, you have radio, you have internet, you have your music and devices that you can download. Now that, that's music that's already uploaded to the yeah, car? So we have two flash drives here. Okay. And so we've just uh, loaded from our flash drives here. Nice. Um, navigation, which I went through. And if you, you just type in the address right here. Just type it in with the keyboard and hit go. And then um, it will um, navigate you. And with the turn by turn... We have to drive right too? Or Pardon? We still have to steer the... You still yeah. wheel we are, we are not Google. We don't use a driving car. Okay. Energy, a lot of people... Maybe they'll have an update one day for could the be. operating could system be. for that. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people monitor this. A lot of the people that drive the Model S. It's your watt hours per mile. And so, uh, one quick rule of thumb. Those are fixated Prius owners. Yeah, one one rule of thumb. If you ever, I don't, you know, I don't know how how techy you are. Uh, everybody's, you know, different levels, and, and um, you can divide your watt hours. If you take your, are you getting the big battery or the medium? It's Eighty-five battery? kilowatt. Okay, so if you take eighty-five kilowatt and divide it by, say, your average of four forty-five or four forty-six. That'll give you how many miles approximately get with that type of driving. Because right here, I mean, we were driving, we obviously accelerated or something here and torqued it out. But it's say uh, I'm averaging 300 watt hours per mile, you can divide that through 85 in a quick estimation. So that's so we, how some we can people share use the driving responsibilities by kilowatt hours. So if you burn through your kilowatt hours in like 30 miles at 120 miles an hour, then we switch. Okay. Okay. Your web, the, uh, 3G and Wi-Fi connection. Now, how are you going to um, be charging up along the way? Wherever you possible. Can. Lunch, dinner, overnight, hotels, A lot of, uh, RV, RV parks. parks if yeah. we don't have any other choice, RV park is the last resort. Okay. And you have PlugShare? Do you use PlugShare? Uh, yes. We're okay. registered for PlugShare. Okay. Because I... Or, you know what? That's an app on... We yeah. ha I have that on my phone already. Yeah, I like that a lot. I don't have a Model S because I can't afford it because I have a kid still in mm -hmm. private university. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, two children private university. But I have a Leaf, so I use PlugShare a lot. I do have, drive an EV. So I find if the recargo and PlugShare, I like PlugShare the best Okay. because it's more current. People will review it. You know, I don't know how current it will be as you head east. I know in this area it's very current. Well, we're soon to find You're out, but we have other out. apps on our phones as well, so we can cross-reference okay. with with other apps to make sure that 
you know, we find all the charging stations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it, you're not the first to do it. You may be the first to drive from Portland to Miami, but people right after Christmas drove Portland to New York City. You're well, ours is trip's going to be longer because we're going heading up north to Vancouver first, so we plan to do like 5,000 miles. Wow. So in that Are you going to blog about it or anything? Yes. 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 Okay. We're, we're blogging about it. Part, oh, yes, please. Yeah, um, I'd like to write down your blog to follow uh, you all. Microbattery.com. Microbattery.com. I sell batteries also, so okay. we're, we've got a blog on that page. Okay, very cool. We're giving Can away we... batteries for every mile that we drive. We're going to give away hearing aid batteries, so we plan oh, to give away okay. like 5,000 hearing aid batteries to different customers. That's good. My mother had, oh, I, I cared for my mother for many years with a hearing aid, so I dealt with those little batteries, and I know how special we're, they We're giving are. away Panasonic hearing aid batteries, oh, good. which is the same battery that's in the car right, here. Right, right, right. Can we can we use the uh, the, the um, car as a hotspot? No, not yet. Not yet. So. You will be able to tether your phone, but that's coming, and I don't know exactly when. I of what I've read, I think in the next several months we will be able to. But it is capable. It just hasn't been done yet. So we're gonna try and decide what how much they're gonna charge us for that. Mm. Backup Hopefully. camera. And this you can keep on while you're going forward. So I know uh, reading the forums, a lot of people are dry, you know, keeping it on. And with the mirrors, really the wide angle of view you're getting. Can we turn it on from our remote app? No. Can't do that one. You can do a lot from the remote app uh, to access, you know, to Bluetooth connection. Can we, can we connect two phones at a time? Oh, yeah. You can connect many phones. Wow. So, you know, if you, um, you know, you would just hit, you know, to go on your smartphone, go to Bluetooth Connect, and then hit Connect but Phone can, here. can both you be can, connected at the same time? Not at the same. Well, uh, you can, you, you're going to you hit on one or the other. You can see we have all kinds of people in here now. These right. are people that work here, but we both can't be connected at, at one time. Just one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Because you would tap. Two would be cool. It, like you're with your wife or girlfriend and you just have a phone and whichever phone rings, rings yeah. in the car, that would be very That would be fine. So the controls are down here. It's dual climate control. So if I hit this, you'll see it says sync temp here. It, and so that means right now they're separate. I want it colder than your side, but if you want to sync it, you just hit sync temp. And then when you move it, they're both going to move, um, it, you know, it, it's synchronous. Okay. How do you, how do you desynchronize it? Just hit it again. So right now, it's showing blue. Cause there, it's no okay. longer synced. Okay. When it's showing blue, like right now, the climate controls showing blue. That means it's on. Plus, I can hear it. But that's um, hit. Here's the, all your climate control. So air conditioner off and on. Recirculation, venting out. Uh, if one's uh, lit up, it's you're using it. As I t turn these down, right now it's just the defroster on. And then the fan controls are here, so you can preset it, and then you would just, you know, hit climate control on or off. Do you reset, re reset the uh, the seat positions for individuals on, from here, or? Well, here, this is how you would do it, and this was a software upgrade. So right here, so we've just named the people tall, taller, and tallest. <laughs> but if I wanted to uh, do a new one. I could put driver profile settings, okay. add a new driver, enter okay. your name, okay. and then you put it however you want, and then create profile. Wow. And so then it would be up here, Elliot, you know, Juan, who's ever doing it. And it's going to remember your seat settings, your steering wheel settings, and your mirror settings for you. Okay. okay. This sounds like fun, huh? So the seat settings are all on the side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then the circular one's lumbar support, if you feel it on the side. So it's a four-way lumbar support. Yeah. So it'll go here and here, and, and it'll flate up. And, okay. Okay. And then the steering wheel control is right in here. And it's up and down and out and back. Okay. You know, this is a lot like, you know, an iPad. Don't be afraid. You can't break it. You know, I mean, you might get lost for a minute or two, but, you know, you can always go back. And when I, I click on something like that, you'll what? always see that... You know, I X out of it. You know, if it has an X up here, just X out and you'll get back to the main screen. This is a main screen with the apps and controls down here. So it's not, it's never going to crash like my Windows PC or laptop? I, you know, I'm not going to say that. I, mean, ne I never <laughs> say never. So... But it's not going to happen on a daily basis, like no, with my no, laptop, no, right? No, no, I'm, you know, no. And there is a way, I mean, um, there's a way you can reset.